Welcome to Subramani. Uh, the allure of being a investor, being an investor in private equity is so huge that people with uh, no capacity to take that kind of risk are uh, constantly badger me, ask me why am I not recommending any private equity investment even though I personally do private equity investment or that's what they think. Uh, if you take my equity portfolio, I am something like 80-90% in public listed uh, securities, not in private equity, right? Private equity may be, uh, may be a little bit, but not really in a big way and I don't actually do the selection of which private equity fund in which to put. Somebody puts and therefore I copy. I don't do a, I do a cut paste rather than a original uh, work and I don't sell, right? I don't recommend, uh, I have put it in here, so why don't you also put that kind of work also I do do because I don't do advisory work, I don't do a fund management work. What is the lure of uh, investing in private equity? I don't really know but I'll try to guess. Now I know I see people with say uh, 10 crores or even 15 crores uh, saying I don't want to put in anything other than mutual funds, right? There are such people. And there are people with 5 crores wanting to experiment with an AIF, with private equity, uh, with uh, PMS, etc. Not because of anything else, but there is some sex appeal in these investments. So, what are those? First, uh, feeling of exclusiveness. Oh, this uh, fund is uh, subject, it's available only to people with who are putting in at least 5 crores or who are putting in at least 2 crores, right? So, that kind of a thing. So, it's an exclusively exclusive club and people die to get into an exclusive club, right? Everybody wants to be into that club which will not admit them. I'm quoting somebody, it's for you to guess. <laughs> right um, uh, so they are all trying to get into that club and for getting into that club they don't mind investing a little bit of money and this is not a little bit as a percentage of their net worth it is huge so but yes but people do secondly it is uh, nice to stand in a party and say oh i spoke to uh, i spoke to sundaram i spoke to subramaniam i spoke to uh, sham i spoke to mukherjee right something like that and the other person asks who they say oh he runs a private uh, pms <coughs> so minimum is about 2 crores and uh, i i am party to that beyond that they don't know uh, for nine years, they may not get their, get even an NAV, so they do not know anything. They just think, oh, the returns are going to be fantastic. There is no standard deviation, right? You do not know what is your return, so you do not know what other funds have returned. You don't, you can't compare it to the Sensex return. Nothing you can compare. But the fact that you are part of an exclusive exclusive club helps. Uh, what percentage should you put that is again subject to a lot of other things. So, I met a person who had put um, about 50 lakhs into a real estate fund and uh, before it got any results, he wanted to put some more in another real estate fund and uh, I said, why are you doing that? He said, oh, I think the returns are going to be fantastic. I said, have you ever waited through and withdrawn? And he said no, he had not put any money in a PMS or in, a, sorry, not even a, in a real estate PMS, in real estate, basically a real estate product, whether AIF or PMS or uh, private equity, whatever you call it. He had never withdrawn, he had never stayed through the whole uh, seven year uh, process, right? So, what happens in a fund is the fund manager keeps saying, oh, it's doing very well, we are getting next round of funding, whatever, but till then, Till the last day when he says now which is available for selling, you put in a 10 box, now it is you can sell it for 72 rupees uh, or something like that. Till that check is in cash, you do not know the return. There are no indicative returns in private equity. You can look at it and the manager who is managing it for you say, oh sir, it is doing very well. Next round of funding is happening at this price. Will you be able to get out at that price? Will it be partial exit? I don't know. You also don't know. So when you don't know these things, why would you want to enter private equity? Simply because people believe that, uh, first of all, there are some beliefs that mutual funds are uh, meant for uh, meant for everybody. So even a five thousand rupee SIP or a five crore SIP, you can still put in the mutual fund. So it does not give that exclusive. Only I can put in a, a value discovery fund or a focus thirty fund. Only I can put feeling is not there. So anybody can put so that 
there is no sense of exclusiveness secondly this marketing of pms aif private equity is done very smartly because they invite you with your family to a five star hotel saying sir your money is very important so we will take you to a five star hotel you are fed uh, and you are shown a presentation and you are of course asked to come there with a check and then you are told uh, well mutual funds are for the common man who can put only 5000 rupees a month or 50000 sir you have arrived you can put 5 50 lakhs uh, and i'm sure you can put more the, every month we only take a minimum of 50 lakhs but every month you can add 5 10 lakhs to it so in a year's time you will be 1 crore plus market performance so that is fantastic well you can do the same thing in a mutual fund right but this is how it is marketed so therefore people fall for it uh, and uh, that that feeling of being exclusive bernie madoff knew how to make money there doing there doing that right so so subject to all those things uh, private equity sounds very good to start in a party and say oh i put some money in private equity uh, three years ago i put in i think it's worth i put 50 lakhs it's worth about 1 and 1/2 crores you have no clue you're just guessing that it is worth 1 and 1/2 crores because somebody told you a similar business got funded at that valuation if you are got, if you had got funded at that valuation your investment would be worth 1 and 1/2 crores but we have no clue what is going to happen actually right so uh, the feeling is uh, direct equity is better than mutual funds because there is somebody who is looking at it and telling you every day what to buy and what to sell so private equity is good because it is exclusive pms is better than mutual fund simply because uh, pms is again more exclusive and uh, cater to a small audience aif even better than pms these are all myths which have to be broken even with a 17 20 crore portfolio you can be exclusively in mutual funds and uh, listed companies uh, you don't need private equity you don't need private debt you don't need pms you don't need aif but all of them have a role at some stage in your life you can look at a pms and say it's okay anyway i'm going to pay so much of tax so it's okay if there is some churn let there be somebody else managing my direct equity also that is what a pms just for you it means that you look at your portfolio sit with a pms manager and he says okay i will want money i don't want um, equities it will help you knock off some of the shares that you are holding for a long period and take all that money and put it in a pms which means there is somebody else managing your direct equity portfolio however if you have not reached that stage you are let's say at 2 and 1/2 crores should any money of yours be in any Ill, uh, illiquid asset my answer is no it should not it is not worth taking that risk because i have seen people lose money in aif and pms in real estate it has happened right so if that happens to you in private equity i have seen people lose their shirt so be careful about those things it is not worth doing if you are happy with the mutual fund be be there uh, just because you got a bonus of 75 lakhs or 1 crore it does not mean you have to look for a pms guy who will manage it with a minimum of 50 lakhs or minimum of 75 lakhs check out what you are doing sometimes you may be just feeding your ego or standing in a party and saying i have also invested in uh, direct equity i have also invested in pms in pms i put some money in private equity check whether you are doing it for ego or really good returns or you met somebody whom you are very confident that will manage your private equity portfolio well if you are sure about all these things invest otherwise sticking to your index funds etfs uh, uh, the, uh, the regular funds or uh, uh, any of those things is just fine as long as you have a good advisor or you can do your own advisory and create good wealth not all private equity creates wealth not all pms creates wealth you see the more successful ones so you get carried away be aware thank you